Hi and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today's video is going to be a really fun collab called Craft It Three Ways Christmas Edition. This is where we take an item of our choosing and we craft it three different ways. For mine, I chose scrap wood. For project number one, you're just going to need some pine cones. I got a couple bags at Hobby Lobby. You can get them at Michael's or any kind of craft store or your backyard, but my backyard doesn't have the type that I wanted. You're also going to need a craft foam cone or you could probably use like poster board and roll it up. Also some paint. I'm using this vintage white because I wanted it to still be like white-ish, but I wanted it to be more cozy than like a super bright white. <laughs> I'm also going to be using some pine cones that I already had. I ended up using a lot more than I thought I would. So definitely get more than you think you'll need. <laughs> For mine, I really wanted to water down that um, vintage white color because I wanted the pine cones to almost have like a bleached look to them. So I didn't really want them to have all of them to have like a painted look. So while it's wet, it looks pretty like solid and um, white, but then as it dries, I'll show you here in a second, it looks um, more faded. Some of them already had like the tips painted white, which was fine because I wanted the difference, but this is what it looks like after the paint has dried mixed with water. But I wanted different, um, you know, different colors in there. So it just gave the um, pine cone tree a little bit of dimension. You're also going to need these small pine cones and you will need a um, pole or dowel rod or a large branch, maybe not large branch, but a <laughs> large stick, I guess. And also some scrapbook paper. If you want, this is going to be used for the trunk and some Mod Podge. You could cut out a hole in the center of your cone or I got my son's help to um, drill out a hole. So thank you to my son for helping. <laughs> then you're gonna wanna take your dowel rod or pole and push it through the center of your cone. I cut mine, um, I don't even know what the length was, but what, however big you want your trunk to be. Then take your scrapbook paper, if you're using it, and cut it to the size that you will need for the trunk. And I'm using Mod Podge. You could use Elmer's glue or probably even a glue stick. And then I just wrapped it around. And then to seal in the scrapbook paper, I just added another layer of Mod Podge. And then after that was dry, I just started attaching the pine cones. I started with a, um, a large one on the top and just used some hot glue and pushed in that little stem into the foam. And you'll have to hold the pine cones, you know, for a few seconds just to make sure it adheres to the cone. And then I just kind of staggered the different sizes of pine cones all the way down um, the tree or the... Um, the foam cone and then you want to fill in the empty spots with your little mini pine cones and for mine you can go all the way around with the pine cones for mine I only did half of it because I want this to go on my fireplace and our little uh, mantle is very very thin or narrow so it wouldn't have fit if I did the pine cones all the way around then you want to drill a hole into the center of your dowel for the screw. And here is where I'm taking my scrap wood. And also I guess the pole was scrap wood too because I used it in another project. <laughs> um, I am also pre-drilling my scrap wood pieces that I cut for the base. And I am just attaching a flathead screw to the top scrap wood piece and drilling that into the, the base and into the um, trunk of the tree. And I used two pieces of scrap wood only because I wanted it to be thick and chunky and also I didn't want the tree to fall over so I wanted it to have a little bit of weight. So I'm adding some wood glue and attaching the two pieces together. Then clamping them. and then just painted it roughly because I still wanted it to have like a rustic, um, kind of like vintage look. And this is what it looks like all finished. 
let me know what you think. You could also paint the cone brown so that you didn't see any of the foam through the pine cones. But before we get started on project number two, I wanted to tell you a little bit about our collab. It is called Craft It Three Ways. Christmas edition where my friends and I thought it would be a really fun way to bring you some DIY Christmas inspiration that's a little bit different where we each chose one item to craft three different ways and each of us chose something different so be sure to check out their videos in the playlist I will have that listed in my description box these ladies are so talented so sweet they're just beautiful people and I know you will love their channels so definitely check them out and tell them I sent you for my project number two, I am using some more scrap wood. <laughs> so this is one of the scrap boards I'm going to be using for the trees. Um, so basically all I'm going to do is measure the width of this and then find the center and then draw a triangle and then you'll see where we go from there. So I just marked the center of my board and then drew a straight line with the square. You can use anything that is straight. <laughs> I ended up using a board for one of them. And then you're just going to draw your tree. I just did a large triangle for this one. I ended up using a marker here in a minute so that you could see the lines a little bit better. And again, I apologize for the lighting in this room. Starting from here, I drew just a straight line across. I'm going to do a short stubbier tree. Then once you have your triangles um, drawn to the size that you want, then you want to start putting in um, the, not the dividers, but the lines so that you know where you're going to be um, kind of making your branches. I did mine a little bit thicker on this one. All right, can you guys see those lines I drew? Hopefully. Um, I'm just going to take, you know, something straight. You can use whatever you have. And this is where I'm going to make the, the little, um, you know, where it makes it look like a tree. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. But I'm going to add those in so I know where to cut. You could also leave it like this. I'm going to leave a couple that are triangles. There. All right. And then when we go to cut it, you cut along these lines. You don't want to cut on here because then you'll separate your tree. Um, but those will sand off easily. If you're doing it, probably just um, use pencil, but I wanted you guys to be able to see what I was doing. And then this one, I'm just gonna use just the triangle shape. And I'm going to make a couple other ones, and then we'll start cutting. I thought this one was really cool. I'm not gonna stain this one, but I like how it's like really like weathered and then it's like lighter at the top so I'm going to keep this one this color. And I used three different saws for this. You could also use a hand saw for um, you know these simpler cuts. This one was a little bit harder for me until I realized I cut better with this saw with my left hand which is really strange because I'm right-handed <laughs> but I'm not a huge fan of these types of saws. They kind of freak me out. But I had to use it and get used to it because my husband was out of town, so <laughs> so it was a learning experience. But a lot easier than I had made it out to be in my head. <laughs> and then I just took a sanding block just to knock off some of the um, you know splintered pieces and to um, round off the edges just a little bit. Don't worry, like these, you know, obviously I screwed up on the cuts, but. It kind of makes it look cool and gives it a little bit of character. Then because I'm going to be putting it on my um, my fireplace, I wanted to just add a little bit of color to these. 
So I am mixing some black and blue and this is going, the smaller triangle is going to be like a darker navy blue color. And I just took a sponge just kind of to smear it out because I didn't want it to be solid. I ended up going over it again with a um, sanding black just to rough it up a little bit. And then for the next one, I just took some of that um, vintage white and mixed it with water and added it to the gray um, triangle tree. And I thought that one turned out really pretty and weathered. And then I'm just taking some of this poly shade stain and giving this one a little bit of a darker um, look. I didn't want to go over and cover the wood. I just wanted it to stand out a little bit. And then I'm taking some of this green, did the same thing, watered it down and did two coats. And then here is where I just took the sanding black just to rough them all up a little bit and make them look a little bit worn. So let me know what you guys think of this one. I hope you give them a try because they are so cute and you can make them however you want. You can customize the size, color, shape. It's just really fun. Okay, for this one, you're going to need some more scrap wood, wood glue, Mod Podge or paint, depending on how you want to finish it. Measuring tape and some sort of um, scrapbook paper or newspaper, wrapping paper, whatever you're going to use or paint, like I said. But Hobby Lobby has some really pretty scrapbook paper if you're interested. These are just ones that I picked. I just thought they were really pretty and super cute. That one I just love. I love snowmen. And I got a Santa one. This one. I thought that was cool. That looked really vintage. Um, but whatever you decide. So we're going to make um, little boxes for the little mini trees that you get at like um, Target or Hobby Lobby. I'll insert a picture here of the ones I'm going to try and recreate. So for me, most of my trees are, you know, about this size. Let me see. They're the, not the big huge ones from Hobby Lobby, but they're about 17 and a half, almost 18 inches tall. And it's got a little base, so it's about three inches, a little bit less. Um, so that's what I'm going to use my measurements off of. And I'm going to use my scrap wood after I get these staples out. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it and see like what size I want my little box to be. And you wanna remember you wanna leave room on either side so that you can, you know, attach the other pieces. And after your cuts are made, you just wanna assemble your box and attach the pieces with wood glue and then clamp them. And then you can go ahead and just build the top one separate if you want and then clamp that and then glue it onto here and clamp it separate or you can do it all at once if you have enough clamps it's up to you and i'm sure if you don't have like you know scrap pieces of wood you could use like dollar tree signs it just won't be as like you know hefty all right and then after those are dry we're going to glue them on top of each other just you know stack them like that
then you just do the same thing as you did with the sides and then clamp it on and you can um, also do a bottom if you'd like I think I'll probably do one I ended up choosing the Santa paper I just loved how it was vintage looking it reminded me of the um, the Santa Claus pictures and stuff you used to see when I was a kid I just cut them out to match the size of the box and then attached it with Mod Podge you could use them um, just plain with the wood I think that's really pretty but I was kind of trying to recreate the ones at Hobby Lobby obviously with a different um, you know pattern on the box So let me know what you guys think of these three projects. Don't forget to check out the playlist when you're done with my video. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye!